human beings are made to move. We are literally put on this earth as movers and it's deep rooted. And when you allow yourself to get in touch with that, it is the most freeing thing. Our bodies are incredible, absolutely incredible. And I think that's where a lot of the work that I do for others and trying to get the world to move is trying to get in touch with yourself and have this love of movement and this appreciation of what your body can do. You don't even have to go into a gym, you know, ever in your life. I don't care what you do. Go dance, go walk, go run, go do anything, you know, but move. It's what your body wants to do. And it's what you were literally born to do. We're movers. A lot of history in here. Good thing you guys took pictures. Yeah. Anytime I did a sport and they wanted me to move to the next, like, oh, she's getting good. Let's have her move on. My mom said I would quit. So I never... So up until this was high school. gymnastics. Gymnastics, and they yeah. were. They were and like, they said they they pulled me aside after the first day and said, um, I I think she should join the firecrackers. And I said, What's firecrackers? Well, that's like a team. And I said, Oh, okay. And so I probably told you on the way home, and you said, Yeah, nope, not going back. I would have definitely. I was so mad that she didn't push me harder. To stay in gymnastics, I could have been, you know, I thought I could, could be a, world, a world class gymnast. Yeah. I feel like I never reached my full potential. I think you did. The scrunchie. Yeah, we were out here. When I was young, I was, you know, in middle school and I was muscular. I'm just, I'm genetically muscular. And I always say this, it's interesting because in those moments, all I wanted to do was fit in. Like I was more athletic, muscular looking than the boys around me, you know? And so in that moment, I had to have this 10 year old conversation with myself that says, because I look this way, that's why I'm able to go beat them out on the field. Like I just had this moment of like, it's okay, Kais, it's okay. Like, you know, your body's a reason you can go out and do all these incredible things. And back then it wasn't strong, as beautiful, wasn't a thing. There weren't, you know, there were female athletes, but we weren't seeing, I, there were no magazines with them. I wasn't seeing myself anywhere. And so I really quickly had to have this moment of like, I am more than my body and I love my body. She's the reason I'm out here just killing it on the court and on the track and this is great. But then you go back into moments of, uh, I'm so different than everybody and I just stand out and in you know high school in moments where you just want to fit in you don't want to be different than everybody high school was just a really difficult time for me and I don't know I think there's so many things going on but it was high school it was home life there was just a lot going on for me and I came to a place where I just I didn't want to live like I just had had enough and I remember like constantly thinking for months and months, it'd be so much easier not to be here. And um, and then I just come, would kept coming back to, that would kill my mom. Like I, I literally, I was like, I can't do that to her. And I remember telling myself like, um, what's the one thing that makes you happy? Like if the rest of the world is such a deep, dark place, what's the one thing that is a light to you, and it was movement. I remember specifically one day walking down to the soccer park and making a decision. I was like, you're not going to leave this world. You're gonna stay. And, and I remember at that moment being like, it's me and the soccer ball. I was down here all day, every day 
for four plus years of my life. So it means a lot to me, but I don't necessarily want to come back and visit it often. And for four years, I mean, I, you know, that was my thing. I became a soccer star. And it was, it's so crazy because people on the outside would be like, wow, you're so dedicated to this sport. This is crazy. You must love it so much. And on the inside, I was like, this is the only thing that's saving my life right now. Like, this is not a sport to me. Like, this is literally life and death for me. And I think that's where, I think that's where my deep, like, love and admiration and appreciation for movement came and for myself. Um, for some reason, I didn't turn outwards to um, get help. I just felt like I only had myself. And this relationship with my body just developed at that time. And I had so much love and appreciation for movement. I mean, it saved my life. It's the only reason I'm here today. It was painful. It was, um, there was a lot of questioning to myself, like, where was I? Like, you know, where was I when all this was going on? Where, you know, and there's, um, I think probably every parent wants to be present. Um, for their kids, but the reality is we're not always. Um, but life you keeps. Have a lot of oh, I, 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 I'm totally. I totally know why. But you still, when you think back on it, there's a still a part that's you know, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wish I. I wish I could have, and, and then there's a piece that says, well, it, you know, if we would have stepped in, or I would have stepped in, and how would that have been different today? You know, I don't know. Um, yeah, but you've more than, not that you have to make up for anything, but you've more than made up. I mean, obviously I am where I am now because of you and the support, you know, so I think that that's probably then something that you just have to let go yeah. of, or, you know, because I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now if it weren't for you, so. Well, sometimes I think you'd probably figure out <laughs> if you have to move, you have to move, <laughs> whether I'm here or True, not. True, but I wouldn't have mm -hmm. the foundation to go get the world to move without you, so. That's yeah. Good mm -hmm. It ain't over yet. No, no. Just starting. Where are we headed? To my favorite way to start my day. Training. You better get buckled up. Safety first in this car. So a few years ago, I just I had this moment that I realized I was just done writing my own programs and training myself. And so as a gift to myself, um, I started hiring trainers. And it was like a really fun way to learn and be challenged and also just kind of to check out while I was training. Um, and it's been incredible. So I've been training with Rebel for the past two years now. Um, it's just so fun. And we have a great relationship. So it's just, it's like going and hanging out and starting your day with your friend and moving. I mean, what more could you ask for? The thing that literally saved my life and meant so much to me and helped me find who I was as a woman and my happiness is something that I can give back to other people. And so that's for me, you know, I, I try to keep it simple and just say I wanna help the world, you know, just move and get connected to themselves. But the bottom line and underneath a lot of that is I really want people to find their happiness. You know, I think for me, I've gone through a lot of dark times and been really unhappy in my life and, and I was always searching for happiness. Um, and I think that happiness doesn't come from all these exterior things that we think it comes from. You know, it comes from within. It comes from being really comfortable um, and okay with who you are. When was the last time that you met somebody and they had this really positive effect on you and you walked away and it was because of the way that they looked? Like, it, that's not, you know, for me, that's not the point in life. Like, I really want to be out there doing things and helping people feel certain ways. And for me to have an effect on them and them to have an effect on me has nothing to do with what they look like. I'm so much more fueled by training the masses and training the world now. And it's really something um, that I feel like I'm standing in my purpose 
you know, I get a lot of questions and people are asking like, what are you motivated by? How do you get up every day and go do that? Well, I'm motivated by, even if it's just one person that may look at the content or the things that I'm doing and feel like they want to get up and move or they see themselves in me and are empowered. Like that to me is the most motivating thing ever. And so I feel so fortunate that the thing that was the spark and the thing that I love has now evolved into, um, it's almost overwhelming to think about how possibly big it is. It's almost overwhelming to think about how many people may be watching or um, may be motivated to move because they're watching what's happening, but it's also such an incredible gift and it's a gift that keeps giving back to me because it's a thing that keeps me fueled and so happy. What's with the smile? That's the million dollar question, what's with the smile? Um, I've worked really hard to find my happiness and I think to be able to be in that space and to be able to be present and recognize it, like the smile is just that little outside thing, you know, but down deep I'm truly, truly happy with my life and where I am. You know, it's still, my happiness means so much to me because for so long I didn't have it and I do everything I possibly can to protect that. And again, you know, movement is that space for me. It's such a sacred space. And it's why I get so frustrated when people, not frustrated, but it's why I feel so strongly about when people are out here trying to change the way that they look, trying to move because they don't like something about themselves. I'm like, Oh my gosh, what you look like is the least most important thing about you. Like this body that we have is absolutely incredible. Move because you love it. Move because you are so grateful for everything it does for you. It wakes up every single morning and does the things that you want to do. And for me, no matter how many years, you know, I was beating it up and I was saying it wasn't a good enough athlete and whatever I was going through it was still there for me. She was still there for me and she still is today and that's where I think my evolution has just come so much to being just so grateful and thankful and happy for being here today, being alive, being here today in a body that can move and do the things that I wanted to do. The goal has always been to get the world up and, and moving. Um, and that's still my goal. I think that there's, you know, there's a lot of people in this world, and I think that that's something that I will forever be on a mission to do. Um, but I also really want to change the health and fitness world. Um, I think it's not a very healthy world. I think the images that, um, as an industry, we put out are not actually the images of health, and I would love to start shifting that. Um, Health doesn't look a certain way. I say that all the time. And I think that as an industry, we are trying to push something that I don't believe in. And I'm definitely out here um, with a lot of fuel and a lot of passion to change that. I think about my nieces and I'm like, where, what's the world gonna be like, you know, when they're in their 20s? And right now, that's a scary thing to think of. And trying to make huge changes seems impossible, but what you can do is change yourself. And you can take care of yourself, and you can change your energy. And if we're healthier human beings, not by what we look like on the outside, but by who we are on the inside, that's a completely different world. And that's the world that I feel like I will work my ass off all day, every day, to help shift and change. And not just for my nieces, but for everybody.